What's up guys? This is Clark Knives here. And uh, this is a new knife that I got in um, from some trading I done. Oh, yeah. This is a new knife I got in from some trading. I traded my case medium. No, 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 no. My case mini trapper in the mahogany bone for this copperhead. Um, I've never had a copperhead. This is my first one. I'm going to carry it for a little while and see how I feel about it. It's a little big. It's a little big. Um, but before I get into it, I was actually, before I get into it, I gotta say something. I'm gonna put this video a little bit shorter, um, just to see, you know, how it does. No particular reason. Um, but definitely let me know if you like shorter or longer videos. Let me know if you want to hear me ramble on for 13 minutes or if you want to see like a five minute video. But anyways, back into it, um, right here, this is a case copperhead. A little big, like I was saying. It's a, I don't know how I'm going to like it, but I'll carry it for a little while, see how it does. I thought about getting a sheath for it. Uh, kind of like a buck 110 has, you know, or even a big trapper. But first off, we got a clip point. I'm sure most of y'all have seen a copperhead before. Uh, I don't really know what this is. I'm sure it'll come off. I just haven't picked at it enough. But, uh, oh, sorry, I'm all over the place here. Richter Knives. I traded knives with Richter Knives. If you haven't watched his channel, go check him out. He's an awesome dude. Um, yep, traded my mini trapper for this. And I like it. I really do. I like it a lot. But like I said, it's a little big. I don't really know how to feel about it. It is in... Let me see if I can get it for you. CV6249, if you want the model number. Good snap overall. Um, no gapping besides... Oh, come on. Right here, you can kind of see it. You kind of can't. Just a tiny bit. None none too bad. Back springs are surprisingly, surprisingly even. Blade centering is actually really good. So, and I'm pretty sure this one was early 2020s. Let me count the dots here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, I'm pretty sure this is a 2021. So, yeah, pretty early 2020s. So, that's a good good thing. Um, one thing I want to tell you, though, um, I know Richter Knives talks a lot about him sharpening his knives and how they get fruit roll-up sticky, as he says. Folks, I, I'm here to tell you that is absolutely the case. Absolutely the case. This thing is nasty sharp. It is nasty sharp. Uh, I don't know... I mean, you can just see it falling off there. It's just wicked. Whoa. Hang on. Let me see here. All kinds of it. I mean, I've got a bald spot on my arm now. Stupid sharp. Yeah, you can see all the hair on the blade, too, kind of. There you go. You can see a little better there. I was actually really impressed. I don't think I've ever got a knife that sharp where I can just barely hold my knife on my arm and just slide it very so slightly and have it just shave it. I've had some that can shave arm hair, but definitely not like this. Good snap, good snap. Definitely a little bit, you know, a little bit on the slackish side. Doesn't really lock in there like, you know, I want it to. Um, but something else I noticed that I didn't really particularly care for, these little jiggings right here, it goes into the bolster. You can see how it, it cuts in the bolster. No big deal. Adds character to the knife, but um, just not really a big fan of that. I do love, I do like this knife overall. It's a, honestly a really great one. This is one of their ones that's on the better side. Um, you know, considering as they're new, the case knives, the new ones, they, they're pretty rough. They're, they're definitely pick or choose on their quality control, but overall still great knives, even if they have some gapping and some, you know, uncentering and even some blade wiggle. And this one does not have any. The clip point has none. Same with this. This pin blade's tight. Good. It's real tight. Yeah, I'm ready to get a patina on this, probably carry it for a little while, see how I like it, and uh, I mean, I mean, 
I'll do an update on it later, about after, probably about after a week of carrying it. We'll see how I like it. But, um, yeah, I don't really have much more about this knife. Kind of a short video, like I said. Um, I've been kind of slacking here recently on the videos. But, I mean, it's no big deal. I'm just having fun with this, posting videos, showing y'all cool stuff, um, and then just doing the same, watching them watching y'all's videos. I really appreciate this whole community. The uh, the knife community is just amazing. I love it. Um, here, I'll go ahead and throw in another knife since I've got one in my pocket. This is what I carried today. I was playing baseball with my brother and my girlfriend, so I wanted to carry something kind of, you know, and I haven't carried this one in a while, so. This is my GEC 83 with my really ugly looking lanyard on it. Um, I actually cut this string off of one of my belts and tied it myself. Cause I don't have any string or leather string, but uh, just look at that patina. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. Same on the other side too. I wonder if you can see it, but up here towards the tip, you can kind of see it there, but there's there's a lot of blue and purple on the tip. Uh, same with the back spring, if it'll focus. Will it focus? I don't think so. Let me get up close. No, it's not gonna focus. Anyways, the back spring's got quite a bit of patina on it. Just an overall beautiful looking knife. Absolutely love this thing. Like I said, I carried it for a long time um, without the slip. And then had Richter make me one. This is a Richter knife slip. Um, and I had him make me this one. And then I was kind of burnt out on the knife and didn't really carry it much. So yeah, it's going to be back in the pocket for a while along with this bad pup. Um... Yep, so like I said, sorry if it's a little too short. Just let me know if y'all like those longer or shorter videos, and I'll definitely take note to that and start making them longer or shorter. Uh, appreciate y'all. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Definitely share. Definitely share. Tell you know, tell your family, tell your friends, and uh, let's get me up to a 1,000 because I got a heck of a giveaway coming up. I appreciate it. We'll see y'all later.